So, Neeks, I was wondering, we've never had like a weird, crazy, you know, up close and personal smoke session montage by Crispy Divine and Nico Gansadine, have we? No? Okay. Why not now? <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Crispy Divine, as you all know. I know it's been quite some time since we've seen each other. It's been a little while since I have updated a video, and the reasons are simple. Well, one, I have been very busy trying to put together a new segment that I want to do. I know, I know. How many segments can one person do? Well, who cares? I'll just do as many as I can. But this is a little different. Uh, this segment is going to be a little bit more of a weekly web series type of thing. I'm not going to give too much away, however, keep an eye out for it. Um, I've been writing stuff and getting it situated and I need to film and edit and all that stuff, but without giving too much away, um, I hope you guys will all tune in. It'll be very funny for vapors and vapors alike. Today is a little bit of a mix-up of what we always do. We're going to have a little bit of a juice time, we're going to talk about a new mod, and we're just going to shoot the shit like we always do. So, let's get started. Okay, so today we are going to talk about three juices that I just got into my little collection of juices. Now, I'm going to tell you a quick story about how they came into my life. So. There is this little thing called the Plumeville RDA. I think I may have told the story already, so I'll give you the condensed version because long stories are boring anyway. Right, Teddy? Uh huh. Exactly. So, basically, the Plumeville was at a company um, in Texas, and um, it was over 20, blah, 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 blah. Well, I ended up doing this. They ended up taking too long and DHL, blah, blah, blah. And then they offered up a coupon and some free dripping uh, Japanese button. So I ended up getting four flavors of this because it was 50% off the $20 bottles. So I got like four bottles for like 40 bucks. So it was perfect. perfect. Now, the first bottle we're going to look at is called Diesel. Diesel. Now, Diesel automatically um, stood out to me because, and this is straight from their website about what it is, it is basically vine-ripe strawberries, hello, uh, and a dash of cinnamon layered in peanut butter and banana, okay? So, minus the banana, this is all me. Uh, ripe strawberries, everybody knows my old face, um, uh, warning shot, uh, even Suicide Bunny's Mother's Milk. It's all what I, it's what I love. It's the only type of strawberry juice that I've been able to ever really, really, really get into. So I was instantly drawn to that. So let's try it. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I think about it. I'm dripping on a single coil, not a big deal. And we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Now, mind you, these are all high VG liquids. Um, I have been vaping them for the last week or so, so I already kind of have my, um, you know, my thoughts on them, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't show you and tell you about them. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Here's the end. Okay, so Diesel does not, I don't get any ripe strawberry. I do get banana, I don't get peanut butter, and I don't really get cinnamon. I do get that banana feeling, and I do get fruit, but I do not get any type of strawberries. So please, please, if you are a O-Face warning shot, formerly FYSB by Cold Fusion, if you are a um, strawberry cream person, or even a strawberry person, and you see this on this website, or you find Drupaholics um, at Drupaholics.com, and you see this, do not get it and say, I can't wait to try the strawberry and cinnamon and peanut butter and yumminess because that is not what you're going to get. Obviously, my taste buds are different than yours, so you may find it and love it. And I don't think it's a bad juice, but it's like I don't get the flavors by, by any stretch of the imagination. So, um, But as far as the vapor production, as far as the flavor goes, it's not a tosser. I've been vaping it. I do enjoy it. I just don't get those flavors whatsoever. No matter how much you try, I don't taste vine ripe strawberries. I taste banana, and I do taste some sort of fruit, but it's definitely not the uh, strawberries that they're talking about. But anyway, on a one flavor of one to ten, I do it a five because it's not terrible juice. It's not something I would ever buy again. It's not something I'm going to throw away. 
and it's not matching the description in my book. But when you're comparing it to something from like Beantown Vapor or Warning Shot or, you know, uh, even Mother's Milk, I mean, they are different. I mean, they're good. They're supposed to be different, but still, no. So next up on this wonderful, wonderful journey through vape juice and all that good stuff, <laughs> we're moving on to Dripaholics. This is Octane. Now, packaging-wise, Dripaholics has got it down, okay? They're awesome. I love the logos. Every bottle has something different on it. Uh, they have these little sugar spells. They're kind of cute. I like how the top of it is actually like, if you can notice it, how the, the paper is like cut indented to the Dripaholics uh, logo, which I think is cool too. Really, really nice 30 mil glass bottles. Nice uh, dripper. Um, so as far as how that is concerned, nothing, I can't complain about it. Uh, they got the nicotine strengths down the bottom that goes 12630 with a little X mark on the 6. Um, they do have the must be 18 year olds or older, blah, 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 blah. Don't give to children. It was a uh, child lock, I believe. Oh, no, actually it's not. I didn't know that. So now Octane is something that actually was for Amanda. Amanda's not picky. So she would be like, yeah, let me try it. Whereas I'm not going to spend 20 bucks or even $10 on something that I would like to try, but I am not a fan of, okay? So this is an apple pie a la mode, okay? So when you vape this, you're really going to try to get that creaminess. That's what I'm looking for is creaminess. We all know that I'm a custard freak and I like those creamy uh, dessert vapes. So that's what I'm expecting here. I will tell you what I get in one second. Okay, first off, I will give you guys a little tip on these Dripaholics juices. They have to steep for at least a week. Otherwise, you're not going to get those flavors. They come out very almost like they, they will burn. Like they will give you a little sting on your tongue if you get it on your lips or whatever. That is one big sign as far as I'm concerned that it definitely needs to steep for some period. Um, this has been here uh, with me for about two weeks now. Um, that does not taste apples to me. I do see where they're going with the creaminess of the vanilla ice cream, but it does not read apple pie at all. Um, again, it's the same as the other one. It's not a lose-lose for me. It's, it's good. It's not bad. But again, it's going to get a five on my little scale because guess what? One, I don't get apples. And two, I don't really feel that the apple that is there, that is that fruit sense there, but it doesn't read apples and it doesn't read apple pie a la mode, but it doesn't taste terrible and there is a little bit of a creaminess there, but nothing to where you would be like, oh, that's a delicious vape. Um, so, Octane, Tripleholics, me. Like I told you, this was Amanda's, okay? Amanda got a bottle of uh, motor oil which I got for her because she wanted to try a nice apple dessert I mean I'm sorry bananas um, and uh, motor oil is a uh, bananas foster uh, blah 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 whatever her big thing was is that this and the bananas fosters taste the same and I have to agree if you put these two in front of me as far as the strawberry and the apple you couldn't tell me that one was different than the other. So that's a problem. And again, they're not bad. So it's like, you're like, oh, I just need, like, if, like for instance, these, I need some juice and they gave me 50% off. Oh, okay, I'll buy a bottle of this. But as far as going out and buying them, for me anyway, is not going to happen. Um, I will finish with bottles because there's nothing wrong with them. It's just not for me. So now, on to the finale of Dripaholics. So on to the last one. This is the first or second, I believe second, coffee vape that I bought myself, okay? I picked it out because it stood out to me because it wasn't just coffee. It had coffee, uh, nutty hazelnut swirl together with sweet cream, and to me that sounded like a really delicious um, uh, mixture, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. It's called Sergio. Um, I got this home. And I smelt it, and I'm telling you, I was very impressed with the way it smelled. Nice, thick, high VG juice. And 
I thought it smelled terrific. So I was really, really excited to get it on and get it going. So I did. And I'm going to tell you in a second if I can get this motherfucking thing out. Come on. Here's to you. Okay. Sergio brings me home, okay? I like this juice a lot. I would order this juice. I give it about a 7.5 to an 8 on Crispy Divine's little scale, okay? That's based on nothing, by the way. And um, I'll tell you why. Because I taste the coffee. But it's not that, like, really, really, really rich coffee that you get in some places that just try so hard to make a coffee, but they taste like it's like a black, black, sludgy, burnt cup of coffee. This definitely comes through with sweet cream. I don't get the hazelnut. But... Again, I wasn't really like, oh my god, the hazelnut. I liked it because it had that sweet cream element, and I do get that from this. I get it in the smell, I get it in the taste, I get it on the exhale, the inhale, and I really enjoy it. So this, out of all of them, I would definitely buy again, as well as it would make me want to try the other ones because of this one. Um, they have a few more on there um, that sound like they would be kind of good. Um, but for right now, I'm going to finish these bottles. Obviously, I'm not going to jump in and buy a bunch more bottles by these guys right yet. But, um, there's a chance that I will. I also got from them a pack of Japanese cotton, which I've been using. And I really, really enjoy it. There's a learning curve to using it. But a uh, big shout out to uh, North Star Vaping for uh, doing a really nice video on uh, wicking with uh, Japanese cotton. Um... You know, I'm not new to rebuilding by any stretch of the imagination, but knowledge is power, my friend. So thank you for, uh, you know, having a video out there that shows what to do with this stuff. But um, not, I don't think I was doing it wrong by me, by, but it's always nice to see somebody else do it and uh, see if you are doing it wrong. So big ups, North Star Vaping. Thank you very much. His YouTube channel will be down below, so please check him out. And also, you can go on to Facebook and find him and uh, North Star Vaping uh, Group Buys. He's got it going right now. A nice um, skeleton key mod. Really, really cool. Check him out on Facebook. I'll leave that down there too. Okay. So, anywho, Sir Joe. Thank you, Sir Joe. You made my dreams come true. Okay, guys. So, the show's almost over. I know. What are you going to do? But I wanted to show you my new toy. This isn't a full review by any stretch of the imagination um, or my version of a review, but I am going to show you guys what I got. This is the Clouper T5. And it's a wonderful vape. Here, I'll show you. I will spend some more time with it and give you guys a full review and close-ups and all that, or, you know, my type of review. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to give you guys a heads-up that I received it. Um, I am enjoying it. Anywho, thank you guys for your patience as always. I really, really appreciate you guys sticking with me. And I hope that you guys find this entertaining. And uh, please follow me on Instagram. I have a, a Instagram account that I really enjoy, um, you know, putting little videos up. And, um, and it's a great little way to, um, you know, have fun with me. Even when I'm not doing the YouTube videos every day or anything. So... Stay tuned uh, for my little series that's going to be starting. I will have a little teaser trailer up soon. And um, please, subscribe. See this little thing right here? Click that, subscribe, and maybe you could share it. And then maybe somebody can subscribe to me, and I'll be so happy. All right, guys.